Hi everybody, it's me, Jill, from Creating with Love on Facebook and Creating with Love Crafting on YouTube. Um, I went out shopping today and I got a haul. Um, one thing from Michael's and a few things from the Dollar Tree. So, hopefully, my Samsung will behave because I was... Um, I was doing this before and it shut off on me again so I'm getting quite fed up with this video shutting off on me this camera I want to give a shout out to a wonderful woman that I met over the internet never met her in person but I just I feel very strongly about giving her um, community or her her page or, or her group a shout out. It's called Crafty Grams. She's an administrator in my group, Creating with Love, on Facebook. And she does a lot of live videos and a lot of crafting with her grandchildren. I just truly admire her. So God bless you, Donna Wingo. And I'm blessed, you know, I, I, I praise the Lord that he's going to raise you up and make your group into a caring loving group like I pray mine becomes so anyways um uh that was your shout out Donna I'm excited about your group and I'm hoping to help you grow um thank you for being faithful to my group so anyways I got um from Michael's I got this paper pad and it was regularly $5.99, and I used my 40% off coupon. Now, they wouldn't let me use the other 20% off because I only got one item from Joann's because they take competitors. Otherwise, it would have been a lot cheaper than $3.89. So anyways, <clears throat> I want to try and flip through it, but the camera's at an awkward angle. <laughs> and I can't... I can't um, but look at these pages. I mean, you can use them for Halloween, right? And uh, so, I'm sorry. I just can't do this. I'm not coordinated. So, I'm going to try and do a flip through. Hmm. Real quick, like. Because I'm hoping that my phone won't shut off. Because if it does, I'm going to throw it across the room. <laughs> no, I won't. But I will be frustrated with it. Because I won't be able to trust it. You see those striped papers that went by? I can use those for Halloween. And some of these awkward looking pages like that. I can use that for Halloween. Yeah, I can. So anyways, I'm sorry, it's just going too fast, but that's what this paper pad is. It's called uh, Block the Paper for my collections. It's called Strong is the New Pretty. So there. Okay, so the Dollar Tree haul, I'm going to go through it and explain each one. So this is, uh, I picked up two things of mounting tape which is thinner than the mounting blocks. So you can cut down the mounting blocks and all that stuff, but I wanted mounting tape too. This will help raise up your project just a little bit. If you could see, it's a little bit thick and it will raise it up a little bit less than the mounting squares. So sometimes you don't want it as high. You don't want some of your, you know, little stickers as high. Or sometimes you want them higher. So I'll be using this or that. We'll see. I'll make. I'll decide. So I got some more ribbon. And I plan on doing, this one's black. I plan on doing a couple of pick-me-up tags. And I wanted either black or the chevron for that pick-me-up tag. Now I just 
I don't know why I have to show that, but that's a pencil sharpener that I have pencils for. I have coloring pencils. And then I have trouble tracing around things. And I found that mechanic pencils were better. And I have refills, leads. So I plan on doing, hopefully, a composition book that's altered. And I got these tabs because I plan on spit, splitting, no Gabby, the um, alteration book, the composition book, um, in, in like maybe threes. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to use these to be able to go ahead and um, divide. So I found these note little notepads. They're tiny, but I plan on covering them on video. And I have a cat that's going to bother me. Come on. This is what my kitty does when she wants me. So I'm going to show you my kitty. They look at the camera and say hello. This is Gabriella. I can't sit here without um, her bothering me. So here's the next thing that I found. And they're window clings. They are window decorations. But who says I can't make a card out of them? Right? Right. So that's what I plan on doing. Oh my goodness. Stop it. Ow. So. <laughs> Alright, I hope. I found these hearts good for cards and tags and um, all your little books that you do and uh, journaling and stuff like that. And then I found these stickers. Got the butterflies and the flowers and the birdies. Good for the same things that I mentioned before. Or scrapbooking too. I'm making mini albums. I'm going to be making toilet paper roll mini albums. So that'll be a good thing to use them for. I got these cutesy little ones. Um, coffee cups or tea cups. Cakes. Teas. Tea time. That's adorable. You know. I can make a pick me up tag with a tea bag in the back of the tag. And give away the tea, tea bag. And it all fits. I should have bought two of those. Then I found these little flower stickers. And I don't know why, but I'm getting into, you know, these bright little stickers. Then I found these pretty butterfly stickers again. And birds. I love birdies. Aren't they cute? These are all from the Dollar Tree. And this is like, what is it? It's like an artist, you know, type. Or a kid's, just a kid's um, kind of sticker. And I plan, I have two grandsons and a granddaughter that I like making things for. And I needed a, another dump truck, so I picked up this set because I plan on making a whole lot more for my grandsons. And more trucks, because they like trucks and airplanes and all that other stuff, you know, that yummy stuff. And, um, yeah, boats. They love that. So I also found, I want to do Halloween. And I found these cute little puffy stickers. And I don't want too scary stickers, you know, because I'm a Christian. You're not really supposed to get into that stuff. So I wanted, you know, I found a goofy cat. You know, remind me of my kitty that jumps on me all the time. And pumpkins and stuff like that. I kind of want to do um, gift tags and uh, I think little little um little snack holders 
with headers on them. And last thing, these cute little pumpkins. I laughed at them in the store. I just thought they were goofy and funny. And I might use them, you know, for tags or cards. Even a Halloween um, album. I'm doing, like I said, toilet paper albums. I might do one for each of my grandsons. Instead of giving them candy. Or I might stick, you know, stick a... Um, Instead of a tag inside the slot, stick a flat lollipop in there or some kind of flat sandwich or flat candy. But, you know, I just figured um, I wanted to put my haul up and um, I'm going to upload it on YouTube and I hope you enjoy it. My Dollar Tree up in Connecticut. Uh, one of my Dollar Trees always has a bunch of crafting stuff. I had a whole lot more, and I think I put the, I think I put the, uh, I think it was the calendar that I had. It was a pocket calendar with a vinyl, uh, with a vinyl thing, but um, cover. But when you take out the inside. And take off the cover I could have covered that so I want to go back and get that because I'm gonna have a, a tutorial on how to cover that and then put dividers in that one too for the months that will be so fun um, hope you enjoying my video I'm sorry um, if I started a couple of times I'm trying uh, sorry if I look a little messy but that's okay Everybody has a messy day once in a while. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Come join my crafting group on Facebook called Creating with Love. Come join, uh, come subscribe and like the, first of all, like the videos and then subscribe to Creating with Love Crafting. And let's make this channel grow, grow, grow so that we can all just get more projects and learn more and just have fun together and we can bless each other and pray for each other and share crafts with each other and maybe happy mail and all this other stuff so I want to tell you all God bless you all have a great healthy day and just create with love